Uh, hi, Stan. Um, I'm just wondering, how will the government help get all of our businesses back on their feet when this pandemic is over? And uh, what are we going to do uh, if we're going to be in a recession or depression? Thanks. Uh, thank you uh, very much for that important question, Mark. And I, I can't tell you how much, uh, well, my heart breaks when I when I when I hear from business owners, uh, you know, struggling and uh, new Canadians, uh, old Canadians, uh, uh, from all backgrounds, um, uh, telling us how difficult it is and and how they are faced with the real possibility of closure. And, and the concern is, how, I mean, how am I supposed to feed my family? It, it just brings me back to memories of my childhood watching my parents struggle in small business and, and small business is hard at the best of times. Um, you know, it just, we, we can truly empathize with the difficulties that businesses are going through today. Um, to answer your question, um, and I'll give it to Minister Phillips uh, in, in a moment. Um, this is, this is a, a, a priority for us. And now, uh, you know, of course, the number one priority is the health and safety of Ontarians. But it is time to start talking about what recovery is going to look like. What will that new normal look like? And those conversations have begun. It's going to be done in consultation directly with the small business uh, community, as well as constituents, not just of Willowdale and Ontario, but indeed globally. Uh, it's just so that we can make sure, as Minister mentioned that uh, we are also safeguarding against uh, you know, the potential of, of, of future pandemics or, or crises. So with that said, I'd like to turn it over to Minister Phillips for additional content. So Mark, Mark uh, thanks for the question. So, so we've broken this into three phases, uh, response, reopen, and recovery. And, and with the data that, and, and work started on the, the reopen phase, uh, literally, uh, when, we, when we entered into the response, the Premier asked me to um, assemble a committee, which is all of the ministers in our government that have economic responsibilities, as well as Minister of Health, uh, to, uh, to make sure we were, as the economy wound down in a, in a structured way, we would be looking at how we will, will open it up again. So, so next week, we will be uh, putting out for businesses, the framework and the approach in terms of that reopen. And of course, this will all need to be triggered by the good work that's been doing around public health and an understanding of what it is that, um, that you know, can, needs to be the preconditions in terms of caseloads in the community, um, in terms of uh, the various medical measures, in terms of our ability to test. Um, but those things are all, all you know, now determined. And then, that, and then, then to get to a stage where we can be clear, and, and we've been great work through our Minister of Labor, uh, Monty McNaughton, very clear with businesses about what they need to do to operate safely. So what does um, a particular type of business need to do? So that information is going to be starting to flow next week. Um, we do remain dependent on the health performance, and we have to be very careful that we don't um, come out too soon. Um, better a little bit late here, even though we all understand and agonize about the economic impact. The impact of starting too soon, and we've seen places like Singapore and other places that came out and then had reoccurring waves, uh, and had to shut down again substantially. Um, what you'll see is a, a structured rollout in terms of re reopening the economy. Um, that, that will involve letting their, opening some parts of the economy and then allowing there to be some time. Um, as everyone probably knows on the, on the call now, there's a 14-day um, period of, of potential uh, issues from a COVID perspective. So in a very structured way, uh, but a deliberate way, um, letting business people know when they can reopen and how they can reopen, um, and then getting our economy economy um, back on our feet. And then that, that recovery phase um, is really going to be a phase about specific investments. What do we need to do to recover the damage? And as Stan mentioned, um, we're working with various sectors uh, directly through, through my ministerial colleagues with each and every one of our MPPs in their ridings, getting the feedback that's needed, whether it's in Willowdale or Eggington Lawrence or Ajax, you know, not just not just frankly for business, but for the broader community, the social services sector, there's been broad-based effects. So, so this is going to be, you know, the most deliberate and planful approach, I think, of any jurisdiction. Uh, we're going to make sure that the resources are there, and we're going to make sure that we support people. Um, you know, going back to the, the question asked earlier about the commercial rents, throughout this, what we've been doing is trying to make sure that we are providing the immediate support in terms of response. Um, but this is going to be a longer-term process. And I have to say, you, you asked the question, you know, this isn't, uh, for some of you will be old enough, uh, like I am, uh, to recall SARS. Uh, I won't comment on which of my colleagues might remember that as well. But in the case of SARS, you'll remember that that was centric to a few geographies, Toronto and the GTA being one of them. So Toronto and the GTA had to have a very concerted effort to come back out of that. But it was coming out into a world economy that was largely unaffected. And so this is different. 
We are dealing with the most significant uh, downturn economically in most of our lifetimes, uh, and it is global in nature. And so that doesn't mean woe is us, but it does mean we have to understand that we are one jurisdiction, and we're going to do, I think, a great job with 14 and a half million people's help of coming out of this strong, but we're going to be coming into an economy where, you know, uh, 24 million Americans um, are, are jobless versus what was the case a month ago um, and, and many other effects around the world. So, so this is you know, not going to get back to the way we were two or three months ago quickly, um, but we are going to be very deliberate about it, planful about it. We're going to make sure that we get the input we need from people and act decisively once we have uh, you know, the, the clear understanding from a health point of view. And as it's starting next week with this framework, we can make sure that we can do it safely.